हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल लेट्स लर्न टूगेदर दिस इज द चैनल आई हैव रिसेंटली मेड आई केम अप विद द आइडिया टू शेयर माई नोट्स विद यू पीपल यहाँ पे हम जोग्राफी से रिलेटेड बहुत सारे कंसेप्ट्स हैं सब्जेक्ट्स हैं टॉपिक्स हैं जिनको डिस्कस करेंगे जिनके मैं नोट्स आपको प्रोवाइड करूँगी और उनकी एक्सप्लेनेशन दूँगी तो आई होप ये कहीं ना कहीं आप लोगों के काम आएगा तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं हम अपने आज के टॉपिक से जिसमें हम बात करेंगे कि ग्रीक स्कॉलर्स का क्या कंट्रीब्यूशन रहा है जोग्राफी की डेवलपमेंट में सबसे पहले हमारे पास है होमर इनका जो टाइम पीरियड है वो 776 बीसी है वो एक पोएट थे एंड ही रोड टू पोएम्स इलियड एंड ओडिसी ही इज जनरली नोन एज फादर ऑफ जोग्राफी इन ग्रीक and he believed that earth was in circular form uh, surrounded by ocean now sky according to him sky was solid concave surface supported by pillars he believed that sun rose and sank in mountains europe was the shore of setting sun and asia was the shore of rising sun he also uh, named for uh, winds or uh, described four uh, type of winds that was boreas eurus nortus and zephyrus uh, boreas uh, uh, winds were normal uh, normally in uh, north eurus in east nortus in south and zephyrus in west he also uh, defined the nature described the nature boreas were strong and cool winds eurus were warm and gentle notice were uh, wet and violent whereas zephyrus was dreary and balmy after homer we have thales and his time period was from 624 bc to 548 bc thales was a mathematician philosopher and trader he was the first one to pay attention to measurement and location of places on the earth surface measurement or location par dhyan dene wale ye pehle uh, insaan the and he originated several basic theorems of geometry you know geometry ki kafi sari theorems di thi and he also gave, generally he gave six geometric proposition or theorem and he also studied cosmology based on water as the essence of all matter he believed earth was a disk floating in water and he uh, also predicted an eclipse of the sun He also reported magne- uh, magnetism of a la- lodestone. He gave five climatic zones of Earth, and he also said that Nile uh, River is made up of two rivers: White Nile and Blue Nile. After Thales, we have Anaximander, and his time period was 610 to 547 BC. He was uh, a, a student of Thales, and he was philosopher, astronomer, mathematician, and a geographer. He is also known as father of cosmology and is generally regarding as one of the founders or founder of astronomy. He studied uh, Earth, various aspects of Earth and its seasons. They were origin, shape, uh, area, and motion of the Earth and their effect on seasons. He also explained how four elements of physics. Uh, these four elements were air, water, earth, and fire. he explained how they are formed and how land forms are formed through their interactions like these four uh, elements interact with each other and give rise to land forms he introduced an instrument named gnomon he was first to prepare map to scale uh, with greece as its center a first map based on scale where greece was at the center of earth Thales and Anaximander founded mathematical geography. As we talked earlier, he uh, Thales gave various mathematical propositions, and then Anaximander are uh, also continued as he was st- a student of Thales, and he prepared a map based or based on scale. So we can say they are founder of mathematical geography. If we talk about Hecateus, his time period was 550 BC to 476 BC. He was a statesman, historian, philosopher, and a pioneer geographer. And he is the one who originated the literary tradition in geography, the first one to start proper writing. 
He was the first writer in Greek prose, and he wrote a book just period. Periods, which means the description of the earth, and he laid the foundation of regional geography. He gave detailed account of Mediterranean Sea, islands, straits, and described the general outline of all the countries of the world. He developed the first accurate projection of the earth. These were this was all about Hecateus. After Hecateus, we have Herodotus, uh, whose time period was 484 BC. To 425 BC, he was a historian and a geographer, and often regarding as the father of history and one of the founders of geography. He wrote a book named or titled as as historiography. He supported the idea that all history must be treated geographically and geography must be treated historically. He coined the term delta and uh, he suggested or start, uh, gave this uh, theory or we can say fact that Nile mud causes delta and winds blow from colder places to warmer places. He regarded Caspian Sea as an inland sea. He was first to draw meridian on world map and that meridian uh, was drawn from Egypt to Cilicia. He was first to divide the world in three land masses, Europe, Asia, and Libya. During his travel, he observed and portrayed different cultural traits and lifestyles. Anthropologists consider him as foremost ethnographer. The reason for this was that, uh, like in pre previous times, especially in Greek time, all the study or the things that were done, development were done, were on the basis of observation, and observation was uh, done when the people traveled. So during travel, Herodotus generally observed different cultural traits and lifestyles, all related to humans, uh, how they live, the lifestyle, the cultural, and he worked on the same. That's why all the anthropology, he studied about their ethnography. So that's why most of the anthropologists uh, consider him as the foremost ethnographer, or we can say the, uh, one of the first ethnographer. He described Easter as greatest river of the world and Carpus and Alpis as its tributaries. Then we have his Plato. His time period was 428 to 348 BC. He is regarded as master of deductive reasoning. He was the first to give the concept of a round earth. And earth is, he also said that earth is in the center with celestial bodies revolving around it. After Plato, we have Aristotle, and his time period was 384 to 322 BC. He was a philosopher, logician, biologist, and political scientist. He wrote the book or treatise of the heaven and climatology. He was the pioneer of inductive reasoning. He gave the foundation of world's first paradigm. He developed the theory of natural places. He distinguished between celestial space and earth space. He is also credited with the concept of varying habitability, model of the idea of perfect space. He gave this uh, theory of perfect space, which is often uh, studied in political geography or development of political geography. When we'll, whenever we will talk about political geography, his name will always be mentioned. He accepted Plato's concept of spherical earth and sought explanation for it and also uh, studied eclipses and pole star. He was also interested in mathematical geography. After that, we have is Theoprestus and his time period was 372 to 288 BC. He was a student of Aristotle. His special interest was in metrology. He studied relationship between climate and vegetation. He studied about soil and he wrote a book, History of Plants, and also Macedonia, which was about plain, mountain, and vegetation. He's also regarded as father of botany. After that, we have Eratosthenes, and his time period was 276 to 194 BC. He is often regarded as father of geography and the reason for this is because he coined the term geography. He wrote first form a, a formal text on geography and, and 
and titled is as Geographica. He was interested in astronomy, mathematics, geography, and philosophy. He calculated the circumference of the Earth and developed the system of coordinates that we study today. And he also attempted to determine the distance of the Sun and the Moon from the Earth. And he wrote Ecumene, which means the inhabited Earth. He provided mathematical boundaries to five major climatic zones, one torrid, two temperate, and two frigid zones. After that, we have is Hipparchus, and his time period was 190 to 125 BC. He was an astronomer, he was a mathematician, and a geographer. He founded trigonometry, he discovered the precision of equinoxes. He was the first to divide circle in 360 degrees. He identified equator as the great circle. He calculated length of the year, compiled the first star catalog, invented astrolabe to study stars. Astrolabe was the device uh, or instrument, we can say. And he designed orthographic and stereographic projections. Then we have Posidonius, and his time period was from 131 to 51 BC. He was a historian, politician, astronomer, geographer, and a teacher. He recalculated the circumference of the Earth, and he refuted the idea that equator, were, equator was inhabitable. First people believed, or first the prior uh, geographers believed that Earth was uh, inhabitable. People does not live there, but he rejected that idea. He assumed that the highest temperatures and the driest deserts were in temperate zone near tropics and equator was less extreme. He studies the tides, depth of ocean, formation of plains and he also wrote a book The Ocean and was considered an authority on oceanography. Uh, thank you so much. This was all about uh, the contribution of Greeks in the development of the subject or development of the discipline of geography. And uh, this was all for today. And in the next video, we'll talk about uh, Romans and their contribution in the field of geography. Thank you. Thank you for being part of this video. And if you liked it, do not forget to share it with your friends and family and also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon.